What is up guys, it is Turbo here and welcome to episode 188 of the FIFA 13 career mode. I am getting so close to episode 200 and I don't even know how. It seems like yesterday we were on episode 3. Anyway, today we have a big boy match against Real Madrid away at the Santiago Bernabeu. And this will probably decide the course of the league in the uh, in the future episodes. Uh, so it's going to be a big, big match, obviously. First versus second. But first, um, uh, we have a match against Getafe at home to deal with. I play a weaker team. And uh, you should all know by now when I say weaker, I simply mean the players who aren't rated 89. Um, and it was still a very strong team. Ben Khalifa started here. The 86 rated striker now had a shot nice and early. It cannoned off the bar in the 25th minute, actually saying it. It wasn't, it wasn't really too early. And unfortunately, we couldn't get to the rebound off the bar. Hamo here on the board. He is going to run down the wing, cut back inside with a nice little fake shot in there. Give the ball to Ben Khalifa. And Ben Khalifa is just going to nicely smack it into the top corner after a lovely... A uh, little first touch to stop the ball and then a second touch to just blast into the back of the net. 1-0 already. Susinho here getting forwards himself again. This right-hand side was a big, big threat for us in the uh, in the whole of the first half. Ben Khalifa has another effort. Well saved by the keeper and they do eventually go out and clear it. But we just came on the attack again. Hamill here outpacing his defender. He had a shot. Well saved by the keeper and again it goes out. But here we go. The ball's still in play. Perotti has a shot. The keeper saves again and eventually they boot it out. But we managed to keep the ball in play. Rakitic and Perotti here keeping the ball alive. Ben Khalifa on the wing. He is going to go out wide and retain the ball. He's eventually going to uh, work himself a little bit of space on the wing. Uh, put the ball back in for Perotti. Perotti misses the header but Hamill wins it. Perotti on the rebound. Uh, it looked a little bit offside to me. But he manages to take a touch round the keeper and well, just smash it into the back of the net. Into the empty net, I might add. In the 45th minute. And we have a 2-0 lead quite quickly. Um, and, you know, we're going to go into half-time as the more dominant team. And we are going to go into half-time leading. It, looked, it, did, it did look a, a lot offside to me. I'm not going to lie. But I will take it. 2-0 was the score. We move into the second half. Again, that right-hand side was the danger area for us. Parati putting a lovely through ball to Ben Khalifa. And Ben Khalifa managing to finish that as well. And uh, this match is all set. It looks like to be a big moral boost uh, for all the younger players and the inexperienced players who are playing in this match. And uh, a big moral boost for the team. Uh, because Morale boost for the team, I should say. Because, uh, obviously, Real Madrid is going to be a tough, tough match. We want to be up and ready for it. And we want to have a big, big performance from all of our players they do have a, an effort on goal there but it was miles miles wide Diego Perotti was not Diego Perotti Diego Alves was well up for it Hamill just strikes wide we need to work on his finishing you know we really really do um, but having said that I didn't bring him off I brought Perotti and Gardner off to replace them Campania and Medell came on uh, not Campania and Medell Campania and uh, Redmond and Campania sets up Hamill for a nice little volley in the 90th minute and it's all good it's all well and good Hamill finishing the easy chances but his, uh, his shot earlier that's what we really need to work on if he wants to be a good player Remember, I signed him as a free agent uh, during a couple of summers ago. Um, if he wants to be a, b a good player, he has to start working for it. And, uh, you know, he has to be ready for it. But we do win 4-0 in the end. And uh, that is a great, great confidence boost ahead of this massive, massive match on Wednesday. Uh, a 10 p.m. kickoff, which is a bit of a late kickoff, really. But here we go. Coutinho, Roy Zizano, Di Alexandro in the middle. Insigne, Boni, Boni and Neymar up front. All the, th all the front three strikers are thriving uh, so far in this league. And here we go. Uh, not this league, this season. Roy Zizano. Starts us off with an act, well, uh, starts the action off even with a wonderful deflected effort that goes out for a corner. Again, it's Rizzano on the ball, but Casillas puts a fantastic save in. Um, but it was all us in the early few minutes. Boney here sets Neymar through, and I again thought that was offside. Maybe the referees are on our side a little bit this game. Neymar's going to set up for a back post, and how did Insigne miss that? I do not know. He is 86 rated, and he misses those kind of chances. It's just unparatable that he scores those, but he nearly makes up for it there. Only Casillas denied him the goal, but Roy Zazano was on hand to put it fantastically away with his left foot into the empty net, and Casillas could not come across and make a save. And I swear to God, Insigne should have scored, really. It was all Casillas. Uh, if Casillas hadn't made the save, it was a really good save here from Insigne out of the outside of the foot shot. Came off the post and uh, it was just lucky Rosa Zano managed to put it in. But we did deserve it. It was a deserved lead. And Coutinho here is going to link up well with Boney. Boney is going to go over the top to Neymar. Neymar is going to, uh, uh, well, outsmart the defender. Pitch the ball and then poach it. Lovely, 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 lovely finish into the far corner. Just finesse it round the keeper. And in the 28th minute we have a 2-0 lead at the Barnabao, which is incredible I never thought that our our league title contenders Real Madrid would let us have a 2-0 lead at the Bernabeu but here we go uh, another replay on that Neymar goal that you just saw there we go 
Not even half an hour in and we have a 2-0 lead. Coutinho is going to play some wonderful football here with Boney. Boney is going to try and uh, play through Neymar. Neymar doesn't take a good first touch though. And the, the uh, Real Madrid defence does manage to come back and counter him. However, Neymar is going to grab himself another goal again from a little bit of a different action. But Ruiz Zidane and Neymar were the key to our success this match. Um, I think they both have one assist and one goal. Pretty much assist, you know. Uh, so, it, 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 like I said, they both had really good matches. And uh, the, the the first goal in the second half was always going to be an important one. I mean, Real Madrid would definitely have wanted to come out uh, and uh, go for the win. Uh, because they were only 2-0 down. But 3-0 really sealed the result. And I don't know why I switched to an instant replay view there. But... Um, Real Madrid were just were not themselves. I mean, they had only had one chance all match. Here it is. De Alexandro manages to whip the ball out, but unfortunately it doesn't get cleared. Emery Carr manages to win the header. Ozil on the ball now. He is going to play a wonderful ball to Cristiano Ronaldo, who isn't as good as he once was. Ronaldo's going to run down the wing, have a shot, and well saved by Diego Alves. That was the first save that he had to make, and it it was a deserved 3-0 win. I'm not going to lie. Neymar almost getting his hat-trick, but it was a fantastic result for us. And uh, you're going to see in a minute what this means to the league table. Anyway, guys, it is coming towards the end of the episode. I hope you have enjoyed it. If you could, if you could, please leave a like rating i would very much appreciate it as well as leaving comments but apart from that i will see you all later as you can see sevilla are on top once more four point difference between us and real madrid now and we should be safe for uh, for future matches anyway guys like i say i hope you have enjoyed it and i will see you next time we are getting ever closer to that episode 200 i cannot wait for it guys please keep leaving your support uh, so that it gets here even quicker i really can't wait for it bye